This next part of the project is the uh, spindle and the quill, and uh, also some of the bearings that go along with that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this all apart as much as I can and see if I can just clean this up real well. First I'm going to take off this bracket. And there's this little collar here that I believe retains the spindle within the quill here. So I'm going to pull this off. So it turns out there's a little retaining ring in here. I've already loosened it up. I'm just going to pull this out the rest of the way. Okay, at this point, I think I can just tap the spindle out. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a press that's capable of pressing out this shaft because of these bearings. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to clean this shaft up real good. Um, the bearings work really nicely, so I'm not concerned about it. I'll just give them nice oil oiling and... Uh, yeah, still listen to it works real nicely. So we'll go ahead and clean this up and then uh, reinstall it. I'm just going to focus on cleaning up the end of this quill because someone painted it in the past. Um, but I'll go ahead and clean this up in the wire brush here. I'm just going to clean up some of this old grease with some acetone. Okay, I'm just going to throw some fresh oil into this uh, coil and spindle bearings and then seal it back up. And now the lock nut. And I'll just put this collar back on. This is the pulley bearing, and I'm just going to go ahead and clean off this old disgusting grease, uh, just with some acetone. So these bearings barely moved, but uh, just running some acetone through them, they just move perfectly now, so I'm really happy with that. So this is the little bracket that the depth gauge mounts to. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up with some acetone before I bring it in the sandblaster. Okay, I'm just going to clean up the hardware for that bracket, just in the wire brush here. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just gonna clean this part off with some acetone. Then I'll just mask off the inside of this. And one final little wipe down with some acetone before I paint it. And I'll put some primer. Let's prime the other side here. And now a coat of paint. And I'll paint the other side. And this paint is all cured, so I'll just pull off this masking and set it aside. And now we'll just clean up this bearing plate and the screws on the wire brush here. And finally, let's clean up this death stop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this pulley bearing here, and first I'm going to pack some fresh grease into these bearings. I'll put a bit of grease around the sides here, and I should just be able to drop this into place. There we go. And now let's put on this uh, plate that holds the bearing in place. We'll put a few drops of oil on that just to keep it from rusting. And I'll just install this. Now it's got a little locking screw to hold this bearing in place. Okay, now I should be able to put the spindle back in, so I'm going to go ahead and just grease this up with some fresh grease. Okay, so I'm about to put the spindle in, and to do that I need to take the spindle feed back apart partially, so I'll go ahead and pull that apart now. I should be able to put the spindle back in now. Okay, now with the spindle there, I'm going to go ahead and put the spindle feed back in, hope it'll fit.
Okay, now the spindle's in, I'll go ahead and reassemble the spindle feed. Okay, so the spindle feed is back on and the spindle now works properly. Can tension up the spindle a little bit if I want, or it turns back. So that's all good. And I'm just gonna put this bracket back on. And I'll just put the depth gauge back on. Okay, so that's another big part of the drill press done. It's starting to look uh, much more complete. Really just need to finish up the pulleys uh, the electrical and a few odds and ends and then this uh, this head will be all done and I can start working on the rest of the body but uh, yeah it's coming along pretty nicely. Thanks for watching.